the outbreak of World War II, Australia was committed to supply 27,000 airmen to Britain under the Empire Air Training Scheme. To fill these numbers and still have enough aircrew to defend Australia, unlike the Army and Navy, the RAAF could not afford to restrict entry to those of predominantly European origin or descent. Len Waters, a Camilleroy man, enlisted. He chose the RAAF not simply because he could, but it was his dream from childhood to fly like his hero, Charles Kingsford Smith. But given the state of Aboriginal education in the 1940s, Len wasn't qualified to join aircrew. As he said, I educated myself when I joined up in the ground staff. I became a flight mechanic and I studied all the time. When the other fellows were out on leave, I'd be in the library, swatting up. Leading aircraftman Lennon Waters had earned his wings and in 1944 became the first Aboriginal fighter pilot for the RAAF. He joined the 78th Squadron at Noamfo Island on the western tip of Dutch New Guinea where the last stronghold of the Japanese in that area consisted of an army and submarine bases and three airstrip. Flying P-40 Kitty Hawks, the 78th were chosen to lead the attack and as Len recalled, we went over at 16,000 feet and dived down to treetop height, dropped our bombs and cleared out. The next day they had to go again and the ACAC was 10 times as bad. Len's plane was flicked over twice, but he survived no form going on to fight at Moritai and Sarakan, off the east coast of Borneo. Flying his plane nicknamed Black Magic, Len Waters flew 95 operational sorties with the 70A Squadron. He was promoted to flight sergeant and on January 1, 1945, at the end of the war, he left the RAAF. By hard work and, ironically, an opportunity only created by the world of war, Len achieved his dream of flying. He had another new experience, that of white and black Australians working together equally for a common cause. As he said, we all browned up pretty well out in the tropics, you know, you couldn't differentiate, sort of thing. But there was never any discrimination. I could never say that.